For centuries, the moon has been at the heart of myths, legends, and cultural beliefs, influencing human behavior and consciousness. The term lunacy, originating in the 15th century, stems from the idea that the moon's phases could stir emotional or even aggressive reactions in people, depending on where it was in its cycle. Many traditions revere the moon, seeing it as a celestial guide, while others weave darker stories, like the fabled transformation of werewolves under a full moon. Now we find ourselves in a crucial period. A powerful energetic portal was opened on September 9th, intensifying the moon's influence on human consciousness, making this moment a unique and transformative time. How the moon affects our health and behavior. The moon has always fascinated people, and many believe it has a direct effect on our health and behavior. Throughout history, humans have wondered if the moon's cycles, especially the full moon, can influence us. When we think about the moon's effect on life, it's helpful to remember that all living things, including humans, follow biological cycles that help them survive. For instance, our circadian rhythm is the 24-hour internal clock that tells us when to sleep and wake up. There are also longer cycles, such as the 28-day menstrual cycle or the seasonal changes in mood during the winter, known as seasonal affective disorder. Our biological cycles can be influenced by both internal factors, like hormones, and external factors, such as sunlight. Since the human body is largely made of water, ranging from 55% to 78%, it seems reasonable to ask whether the moon which has the power to control ocean tides, could also have an effect on the water within us. Research has shown that many animals' natural cycles are closely tied to the moon. Marine creatures, such as coral, are known to reproduce during full moons. Other animals, like certain worms, become more active during specific phases of the moon, and some small insects emerge at particular times that match the moon's effect on ocean tides. The moon also affects how animals feed, move, and respond to light. While the evidence of the moon's impact on these creatures is clear, the question remains whether humans are similarly affected. When it comes to humans, scientific research has shown mixed results. Some studies suggest the moon could influence our behavior, while others have found no strong evidence to support these claims. For example, there's a long-standing belief that full moons cause an increase in childbirth, accidents, and even crime rates. However, many studies haven't found a consistent connection between these events and the moon's phases. Nevertheless, some people report feeling more energetic or restless during a full moon, and others have experienced changes in their sleep patterns. Additionally, some women notice that their menstrual cycles seem to sync with the moon's 27-day lunar cycle. Beyond physical effects, the moon is often linked to spirituality and consciousness. In ancient cultures, the moon was revered as a powerful symbol of emotions, intuition, and change. Even today, many people feel a deep connection to the moon's energy and use its phases as a guide for personal growth, meditation, and goal-setting. The full moon is often seen as a time to release negative energy and focus on heightened emotions, while the new moon represents fresh starts and reflection. At this moment, the moon's influence is thought to be even stronger due to the portal that opened on September 9th, a time of spiritual significance. Many believe this period allows for deeper self-awareness, enhanced intuition, and personal transformation. Though science may not fully explain how the moon affects us, the belief in its power remains strong across cultures, both for our physical well-being and our connection to the deeper mysteries of life. Do moon phases affect mood and mental health? The belief that the moon can affect human emotions and mental health has persisted for centuries, and many people still think that the lunar cycle influences mood swings, anxiety, and well-being. While environmental factors like weather and sunlight are known to impact our mood, the connection between the moon's phases and mental health is not fully understood. However, some research and personal experiences suggest that specific phases of the moon, such as the full moon, may affect mood in subtle ways. For instance, some people report feeling more emotionally intense or restless during the full moon. 
This has led to the idea that the full moon could trigger heightened emotional states, particularly for those with existing mental health conditions. In some small studies, individuals with bipolar disorder experience more rapid shifts between depression and mania, which seem to follow the phases of the moon. The exact cause remains unclear, but it could be linked to disruptions in the body's internal clock, or circadian rhythm, which governs sleep patterns. Since changes in sleep are known to trigger mood fluctuations, the moon's potential impact on sleep could have an indirect effect on mood disorders like bipolar disorder. Sleep itself is critical for maintaining mental health, and any disruption to sleep can contribute to mood swings, anxiety, and emotional instability. During the full moon, some studies suggest that people may experience poorer sleep quality, potentially due to the increased brightness at night. Even small disruptions in sleep can lead to emotional changes, irritability, or fatigue, especially in those with pre-existing mental health issues. This connection between sleep and mood adds another layer to the debate about whether the moon has any real effect on human behavior. The full moon has also been linked to behavior in more extreme ways, with some reports suggesting an increase in crime, accidents, and emergency room visits during this phase. Although some studies have dismissed this as coincidence or myth, others have noted small spikes in unusual behavior during full moons. For example, some law enforcement agencies and hospitals have reported being busier during full moons, with more reports of aggressive behavior, accidents, and other incidents. Interestingly, the lunar cycle's influence may extend beyond personal emotions and behavior to broader trends, such as those in the financial markets. Some studies have proposed that stock market performance shows slight improvements around new moons and declines around full moons. This theory, while controversial, is based on the idea that human behavior, including risk-taking and decision-making, might be subtly influenced by the lunar phases. Though this lunar effect on the stock market remains a topic of debate, it highlights the possibility that the moon's cycles could affect collective behaviors, not just individual moods. Despite the ongoing fascination with the moon's impact on human behavior, definitive scientific proof is still lacking. The effects of the moon on mood and mental health may be subtle, influenced by a combination of biological, psychological, and cultural factors. While some people may feel that their emotions or behaviors shift with the phases of the moon, others might not notice any effect at all. While research has yet to confirm the moon's direct influence on mood and mental health, it's clear that the lunar cycle continues to intrigue people around the world. Whether the moon truly impacts sleep patterns, behavior, or emotions remains a subject of scientific exploration, but the cultural significance and personal experiences surrounding the moon's phases persist. Whether it's influencing our sleep, mood, or even market trends, the moon remains a powerful symbol in both scientific inquiry and everyday life. Self-fulfilling prophecies and affirmations. Self-fulfilling prophecies are a powerful psychological phenomenon where your thoughts and expectations can shape your reality. Imagine waking up in a bad mood, telling yourself, today is going to be terrible. The chances of having a bad day increase, not because of some external force, but because you've mentally set yourself up for failure. This is not some mystical curse, but rather the result of focusing too much on a negative outcome. When you expect the worst, your mind becomes hyper-focused on anything that reinforces that belief, filtering out the positive aspects of the day. In this way, your mindset can influence everything, from your mood and mental health to your body's physical responses and reactions. A perfect example of this is when someone consistently believes that a medical treatment will work. Over time, they may feel better not just because of the treatment itself, but because they truly believe it will help. This belief can lead to actions that support their recovery, such as sticking to the treatment plan, eating healthier, and engaging in more physical activity. This combination of belief and behavior helps make the outcome a reality, illustrating how our thoughts can influence our actions and, ultimately, our experiences. Similarly, if you believe that the full moon will make you more irritable, it's likely that you'll expect to feel more on edge and act accordingly. You might say, 
It's a full moon so of course I'm going to have a rough day. And then you might unconsciously allow yourself to behave more irritably or impatiently. In this way, your expectations become a self-fulfilling prophecy where your thoughts dictate how you feel and how you react to the world around you. This concept connects to the power of thought, which has long been emphasized in spiritual and psychological practices. Many traditions, including those that rely on affirmations and meditative practices, stress that our thoughts have the power to shape our experiences. Daily affirmations, for instance, are a way of programming the mind with positive messages by repeating phrases like, I am strong, I am capable, or I will succeed. You reinforce those beliefs, which can influence how you approach your day and handle challenges. It's not just a feel-good exercise. It's about training your mind to focus on the positive and empowering thoughts that can guide you toward better outcomes. On the flip side, negative self-talk can have the opposite effect. If you constantly criticize yourself or focus on your perceived failures, you will likely feel more stuck and incapable of making progress. It's like digging yourself deeper into a mental hole. When you're harsh on yourself, it affects not only your mood, but also your ability to think clearly and take action. In contrast, being kind, patient and compassionate with yourself allows you to navigate difficulties more effectively. Small, incremental changes in how you talk to yourself can have a significant impact on your overall well-being and mindset. The connection between positive thinking and outcomes is not just psychological, but also physical. Studies have shown that optimistic people tend to be healthier, have stronger immune systems, and even live longer. This is partly because people with a positive outlook are more likely to engage in health-promoting behaviors like exercising, eating well, and managing stress. In this way, the power of thought can be transformative, not just for your mental health, but for your physical well-being as well. The moon's influence on human behavior has long been debated, but it's possible that this is another area where belief plays a critical role. If you believe that certain lunar phases, such as the full moon, can impact your mood or actions, you may start to notice those effects more acutely. Just as with self-fulfilling prophecies, your belief in the moon's power can shape your experience. For example, if you expect the full moon to make you feel more energetic or emotional, you might subconsciously act in ways that align with that belief. On the other hand, if you approach each phase of the moon with a more neutral mindset, you might not notice any changes at all. In the spiritual community, many people use the moon as a guide for personal growth and reflection. For instance, the new moon is often seen as a time for setting intentions and planting the seeds for future goals, while the full moon is seen as a time of release and emotional clarity. Whether or not these practices have a direct impact on your emotions or behaviors, they serve as a powerful tool for mindfulness. By aligning your actions with the lunar phases, you create a ritual that encourages you to reflect on your inner world, make conscious decisions, and cultivate a sense of purpose. Affirmations can be especially powerful during these lunar rituals. For example, during a new moon, you might write down intentions for the coming month and repeat affirmations like, I welcome new opportunities or I am ready for positive changes. During a full moon, you might focus on releasing negative energy or letting go of past disappointments, using affirmations like, I release what no longer serves me or I am open to growth and transformation. By focusing your thoughts and energy on these intentions, you are more likely to notice opportunities and act in ways that support your goals. It's important to recognize that while affirmations and positive thinking can be powerful, they are most effective when paired with action. Telling yourself that you are capable or strong is just the first step you must also take concrete actions that reinforce those beliefs. The key is to stay mindful of your thoughts and to be intentional about where you want those thoughts to lead you. In other words, affirmations and positive thinking are not magical solutions, but they can create a mental framework that supports positive behavior and long-term success. The placebo effect is another example of how belief can influence outcomes. In medical studies, patients who are given a placebo, such as a sugar pill, 
sometimes report improvements in their symptoms simply because they believe they are receiving treatment. This phenomenon illustrates the power of the mind to influence physical health. If someone believes strongly enough in a treatment or a particular outcome, their body may respond in ways that align with that belief, even if the treatment itself has no active ingredients. In the same way, if you believe that your thoughts and affirmations can change your life, you may begin to notice positive shifts in your behavior and circumstances. The key is to remain open to the possibilities and to recognize that your mindset plays a significant role in shaping your reality. Self-fulfilling prophecies demonstrate the profound connection between our thoughts, beliefs and experiences. Whether it's believing that the full moon will affect your mood or using daily affirmations to guide your behavior, your mindset can have a powerful influence on your reality. By focusing on positive thoughts and using tools like affirmations and spiritual rituals, you can create a mental environment that supports growth, resilience and well-being. Just as negative thoughts can limit your potential, positive and empowering beliefs can open the door to new opportunities and lead to transformative change. Ultimately, the power of thought is not just about wishful thinking, but about actively shaping the way you interact with the world and respond to challenges. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in learning more about the moon, its influence, and other related content, make sure to check out the video on the screen. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.